Apple Vision Pro was total failure, but I really liked its battery pack, which was flush aluminum unibody design and uh, it was one of the best designs in my opinion. So I was really inspired by this design to make my own power bank, not with the aluminum but with obviously the 3D printing technology. So I chose to go with this uh, 32140 cells from Seabach. It's a 3.2 volt 15 ampere lithium ion phosphate cells. So I went to Fusion 360 and uh, did some basic modeling and designed a shell as well as the battery cell holder and uh, it turned out to be really good. So I finalized the design and uh, started 3D printing. So before showing you that, I would like to show you the design and uh, how I proceeded with it. So this is the shell with top body sliced. So these are four cells and this square here is a battery management system as well as this uh, board, the charging board is, uh, uh, it's a 100 watt bi-directional power delivery charging module. So it supports lithium ion phosphate as well as lithium ion cells. You just have to change the resistor on top of it so that you could configure it according to your needs and uh, also you could configure the cells that are in series like 3s or 4s it's completely customizable so i went with that ic this whole design doesn't have any screw holes or any snap fits from inside so what i went with is two sections the top section and the bottom section so the bottom section has a uh, only room for the four lithium ion cells as well as the battery management system and the top shell contains the charging board and some room for the wires one eternity later okay so the print has finished it almost took 23 hours to print this thing so the quality looks perfect uh, there are few lines around the plastic but that's acceptable because this is an ABS filament and uh, it's very really hard to print i had to print it very slowly so yeah there is a little bit warping underneath here but that is really acceptable because uh, this section is just going to be a bottom but apart from that everything is just amazing okay so i have assembled this pack using this cells so these are four cells uh, connected in series and this is the bms that i have connected it this is a 10 ampere bms which is sufficient for my needs and uh, this is the uh, thermistor uh, which will shut off in case of uh, overheating or fire so yeah it's not the best job and uh, i am going to uh, offend a lot of communities around the internet and a lot of people so i have, what i have done is i have soldered this cells because i don't want to purchase the the spot welder yeah I don't want to purchase the spot welder just for just for this tiny project and uh, I have like a huge so uh, soldering iron which you know it, 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 it was like instantaneous for three to four seconds of uh, heat exposure on to on top of this cells so it's not going to be a issue and uh, it was under the fan so uh, forgive me for that the battery pack has been assembled so i just need to connect the ic which i am going to use this ip2368 uh, ic and i have already installed the heat sink on top of it uh, it, it is a really small heat sink uh, i have tried charging this module and uh, when i was charging it with 70 watts it was getting quite warm so it was very hot to touch i did not expect this to get uh, when using with high uh, wattage uh, when I'm using like 27 to 30 watt charger it just works prop uh, perfectly and I mean there is no problem with it it doesn't get too warm but when I 
go above 60 65 watt it definitely gets warm so i am going to incorporate a active cooling solution into this system so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install this uh, 40 millimeter fan uh, it will be uh, installed in this configuration so i have already printed the parts uh, like you saw so this is the top section i forgot to put a small hole while designing this uh, lid but i had to drill uh, which wasn't the perfect job but uh, yes i have ins installed this button this is a push switch which is going to be used to turn off turn on the fan and uh, yeah i'm going to make the wiring and uh, connections and all so yeah this fan is going to be installed right here like that and this ic is going to be installed here like this and uh, yeah i have made this channel so that the airflow could just uh, take the intake from here and blow the air outside air the cool air to this ic and then exit out from here so accordingly i have also uh, designed this ventilation holes uh, from both sides actually and uh, one thing that i'm also going to do is uh, add some mesh filter around here like we see in the pc cases so that the dust accumulation won't happen here so yeah so let me show you how everything is going to get together so this is the enclosure it's like a book it's it's really huge and uh, let me just put this thing in here yeah so it is going to go in there like that yes it so what i did with this design is i have kept one millimeter gap around all sides uh, so when i try to insert this thing there is one millimeter gap from all of the sides so the reason why i did that is because i wanted to put some sort of uh, material around this thing so that uh, when uh, when we use under harsh conditions uh, yeah this should be able to uh, withheld all of those shocks and uh, the harsh environments so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to put some sort of uh, material around here so that uh, it will be <coughs> A little bit safe and also i'm going to put some something underneath the bottom side of this cells so that it will be kind of uh, protection to it and the way this lid is going to be closed is just uh, like that what Bro, what are you talking about, man? Well, obviously not. I am going to use some sort of glue to join these parts together because uh, if Apple and Google and Samsung can glue parts together, so can I. So, therefore, I'm just going to use some sort of glue and uh, join these parts together. So, this is what I came up with. So, I have installed this module here with hot glue. I don't know how long it will last but uh, let's see uh, I don't think it will get too much warm uh, when I have this fan so I have installed this fan using double sided tape which will also help it to reduce the vibrations and uh, also install this switch and uh, uh, these grills so this is uh, the mesh grill that we found in PC cases uh, so yeah I have installed that and uh, sealed it with the electrical tape so that dust doesn't accumulate inside so this is what it looks like and uh, also install this uh, small window with a transparent plastic uh, so that I can see the state of charge of the battery and uh, about the pack I have also installed this electrical tape around all of the sides of it so that uh, whatever the clearance is, is inside the case so it will get adjusted it will also help it from 
small impacts not the huge one like if you throw it away so i will try to assemble but uh, it's really hard to do it here on camera so i'll just give you an idea so it will go snugly into this box and uh, i will just uh, solder out the wires you can see now it is getting really tough to get it out because of the tape that i have installed and uh, i will solder this wires right here and then close it off i will try to show it in front of the camera but uh, yeah it's really tough for me so yeah so i have soldered all of the wires and uh, this is just a final test before everything fits together and uh, the fan works as well and it's really silent so yeah that's a plus point so yeah uh, also i'm going to put this uh, styrofoam uh, insulation material underneath the battery pack so that it would be helpful again so Okay, so it fits perfectly and there is no wiggle in between so this is a perfect fit and now just to close this thing I could just put it right like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue or uh, uh, some sort of glue that we used uh, uh, that we use in smartphones so that it would seal this thing properly I could have used uh, some sort of screw mechanism but uh, I just wanted it to look flush so yeah the power bank has been done I mean technically let's just check the weight of this thing so it weighs around 1563 grams to be precise so it's almost one and a half kilograms